everyone and welcome to my channel Nicola Yoga. My name is Nicola. So we're going to do a flow that can help with depression today. So we're going to get started in, you guessed it, Shavasana. So we're going to take the feet out to that distance apart. We're going to bring the hands out level with shoulders and start to roll down slowly, mindfully. Breathe. And taking the hands out away from the body, shoulders come away from the ears, palms facing up and open to receive. Take some nice long deep breaths coming into this present moment, feeling on the points of your body resting on the surface beneath you, feeling supported. And a reminder you have everything that you need in this moment. Feeling supported by Mother Earth. Just finding a few moments of silence here whilst we settle in. in towards our sits bones. We're going to ground in here, hands plant down, knees are hip distance apart. Inhale as we tuck the pelvis, lift the hips up. So weight is in the shoulders, not in the neck. Neck extends long, coming into bridge or sati bandha sabangasana. So here we have a stretch in the glutes, the hamstrings, sorry, the quads, and throughout the chest, shoulders, breathe. Slowly come down. Again, inhale up. And slowly come down. One more time, inhale, and exhale, knees in towards the chest, just rocking backwards and forwards, massaging out the sacral spine, and then take the legs up into Vipariti Karani, so legs come up, spinning at a nice 90 degree angle you've created with the body here. Hands again are grounded down. Then start to relax the feet, relax the ankles, relaxing the knees. So legs up the wall pose. Feeling the energy come back to your hips. This is where we hold emotion. So this pose is a really good mood booster, energy boost. But one of those days when you simply can't get out of bed, staying here as long as your body needs. Breathe. And slowly bringing the hands to the hamstrings, knees come back in towards the chest, and we're just going to rock and roll up to seated. Engage the core. And slowly come up. So from 
from here, we're going to extend the legs out long, flex the feet, and then shimmy shake those soft glutes away from the earth. Sweep the hands back, Dandasana, flex the feet. Flex the legs, engage the legs, taking the heels off the earth. Grow tall in the spine, tuck in the chin, shoulders fall back and down. So this pose gives you an energy boost. Relax the heels and again engage the legs, taking the heels off the earth. Breathe. Again, inhale and exhale. Maybe engaging the legs again. Release the heels and again engage the legs. Once more. And inhale the hands up. Exhale the hands down towards the feet. Pull the shoulders back and down. Neck extends long. Breathe. So you may need to micro bend the knees or bend the knees deeply. We're not diving in here. Neck extends long. Shoulders are back and down. Breathe. Six inches from the hips. Nice 90 degree angle with the legs. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale as so we tuck the pelvis, raising the hips up, coming into reverse tabletop. If you don't have any neck or shoulder issues, you can allow the head to fall back. It's a really good for the throat chakra, shoulders, and heart chakra. area where we hold emotion. Good for the throat chakra, the area of expression. And then slowly come down. Swing the legs around, bring the knees out to mat distance apart as we come into Balasana. Big toes come together, heels have the glutes resting on them, reach the hands out in front, coming into child's pose and finishing off here, Balasana. Resting with your head on one ear. And then maybe resting with your head on the other ear. You can stay here as long as you wish. I'll start to raise the head, walk the hands back up, and just coming back to hero pose or nice, easy C position at the front of your mat. Grow tall in the spine, shoulders are back and down as we start to raise the hands up overhead. 
palms come together down through heart center. You can rest with your eyes closed or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead. Shoulders are back and down. Tuck in the chin. May you be healthy, happy, and free. Namaste. Thank you everyone for sharing our practice today. This was day 22 of 33 days of yoga. So, this was a flow create for depression or when you need a little bit of a mood boost. So I hope you enjoyed it or just did it for your relaxation. Um, maybe let me know in the comment section how you felt before the class and then maybe before and then after the class. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you're subscribing and joining on this beautiful journey. See you again tomorrow, day 23. Bye bye.